a group of 33 researchers conducted a study and came to an extraordinary conclusion. Scientists assumed that aliens from outer space already inhabit Earth. According to the study, extraterrestrials are here. The observable universe. Our sun is just one of 200,000 million stars on our galaxy, and according to the best estimates of astronomers there are at least 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe, if we take our galaxy as an example, there should be at least 100 billion civilizations on the universe. But our civilization is not an interstellar yet, and we are far away of being intergalactic, according to some studies there are three type of civilizations, type 1 civilization is a planetary civilization, they control the weather, volcanoes, earthquakes, will be able to use all types of energies that a planet provides, and should be able to build ocean cities. A type 2 civilization is an interplanetary civilization, that civilization should be able to use the power of the stars. One way to harness the energy of a star is to build a megastructure around called the Dyson Sphere. It would completely enclose a star and capture all of its energy, then be able to transfer the energy for use by the home planet. A type 3 civilization is an intergalactic civilization, they should be able to travel to other galaxies and use the energy of black holes. And possible an entire galaxy. What type of civilization are the humans? We are type 0, is stimate that it will take 100 to 200 years to achieve a type 1 civilization status. Based on this analysis this will limit the amount of civilizations reaching Earth, we are in the most important time in human history, reaching type 1 civilization. It's very possible that we won't reach a type 1 civilization since we have nuclear weapons capable of exterminating the humans. If extraterrestrials have reached Earth, they must be at least a type 2 civilization, with hundreds of thousands years ahead of us in technology, this civilization will be interplanetary, meaning that they won't be able to reach other galaxies but they will be in the process of colonizing the planets on the local galaxy. What will happen if they ever encounter an advanced type 0 civilization such as the humans? There are various possibilities. If we are lucky, they will leave us alone, they will not interfere and even better, they will protect us from other civilizations trying to take over our planet. Other possibility is that they will be evil, they won't take over the planet by using our own governments to take all our resources. They will slave the humans and use us. And when we are very close on reaching a type 1 civilization they will exterminate us and make us start all over, other possibility is that they will just take over the planet by force, if this happens it will be the end of the humans. We will be exterminated. If we are reached by a type 3 civilization, a intergalactic civilization they will be godlike. Most likely they will leave us alone and will just monitor our entire galaxy while taking their energy from black holes. If there was an evil type 3 civilization they will exterminate all life forms throughout the entire universe. These are only few of the many possibilities. But let's get real, if we have ever been reached by an extraterrestrial civilization most likely it will be a type 2 civilization, they will be here among us. What type of beings will be among us? One possibility is that they will be evil, some say they are the reptilians or the greys, they will be able to shapeshift and will be able to adapt their bodies to breathe air and to survive in our planet. They will mimic our bodies and will age, also they will be able to regenerate or just transfer into a new body. Also if they wish they will slave us by using our governments and it will be very easy to manipulate humans, using electromagnetics, chemicals, or just as simple as the media. They will never let us reach a type 1 civilization. Another possibility is that they will be good. Some say they are the greys or human-like aliens, they will be watching us but will not interact. They will leave most of us alone, but will just take some humans with them to analyze and experiment. They will study us and then just watch us. They also will protect us from other type 2 civilizations. They will let us reach a type 1 civilization and when we are ready they will show themselves and tell us about other civilizations. What evidence do we have that extraterrestrial had visit the Earth? First we need to find where they most likely be. Option 1. They will have a mothership in outer space. 
there is some evidence that shows anomalies around the sun, some suggest that they are giant alien motherships. Option 2. They will have their mothership or colony underground. Option 3. They will be under the ocean. There is some evidence that suggests they live under the ocean. In December, the Pentagon confirmed the existence of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. Based on data it collected, the program identified five observations that showed mysterious objects displaying some level of advanced physics, the objects would accelerate with g-forces too strong for the human body to withstand, or reach hypersonic speed with no heat trail or sonic boom, or they seem to resist the effects of Earth's gravity without any aerodynamic structures to provide thrust or lift. No one has been able to figure out what these are. We do not have a good understanding of what the inexplicable sightings are, but the numbers, credibility of observations, and the lack of satisfactory scientific explanation in many cases, mean that we have to start looking at the phenomenon as a scientific problem, one which must be given long-term, serious scientific attention. Aircraft that can make abrupt 90-degree turns in violation of the laws of physics, require extraordinary proof. This is not an unreasonable demand but it also, given the lack of accumulated evidence over the better part of a century, seems unlikely to be fulfilled anytime soon. Until then, keep your eyes on the sky and the water.